Hello, hello everyone, Kennedy here. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Today I am in here showing you guys one of my favorite little hygiene hacks. If you've been following me for a while, you've definitely seen me talk about this. This is one of the many amazing little discoveries that I discovered during my time in India. And since I found this product, I have been absolutely obsessed and would recommend this to almost anyone anyone that has a tongue. But without further ado, I want to introduce you to my copper tongue scrape. So you may have seen this before, you may not have, no biggie. I'm gonna run what this is down to you. For those of you who have never seen this before, this is a copper tongue scrape. You use it as such. It is made out of 100% copper and is used for the purpose of getting rid of bad breath, removing excess plaque and gunk off of the back of the throat. It also can reduce the amount of bacteria that you have in your mouth that can lead to a bunch of crazy other things like stinky breath. I'm not a dental hygienist, but there's many, many benefits that I will tell, talk about more down below. But in this video specifically, I wanted to talk to you about how to use this if you ever get around to buying a copper tongue scrape. So really quick, I haven't brushed my te teeth quite yet or used my tongue scrapes. So you could see what it does, but you want to use this immediately after waking up before you brush your teeth or after it doesn't really matter. I like to use it before because bad breath to me is it's very present in my life especially in the mornings and i can barely stand myself so the first thing i want to do is get up and remove the bad breath so this is what you do basically i'm gonna try to talk and do this at the same time you open your mouth you see that white at the back of your throat that's what this will remove and all the other little gunky bacteria you can't really see towards the top of the tongue so let me stop talking and just show you And then you just put all the access stuff. Let me just show you really quick how hard this stuff is. I'm literally holding this upside down. That is how hard the plaque at the back of your throat can get. Sorry, this is kind of cringeworthy. I should have put a gross alert on this, but that is all the stuff I just scraped off of my tongue. Hopefully it zoomed in so you guys can see it. Um, I'll end up taking a picture and attaching it to this video so you guys can for sure see it. But this is what your tongue scrape should look like after you use it. And then basically what you do is you just run the water and you wash it off. No big deal. And it's really as simple as that. This is probably one of the easiest oral hygiene tools ever invented on the face of this planet, which is probably why I love it so much because it fits pretty much anywhere. You can like close it and put it in a little suitcase or in your purse or maybe even a wallet, depending on the size of your wallet. Um, but it's very portable. It's very travel friendly if you are a traveler like myself. Um, yeah, but basically what you guys just saw is it just took all of the plaque and bad bacteria off of my tongue. And what I did is I just washed it off into the gunk, into the sink and let it go down the drain and that's it. And I usually just do like one or two swipes through on my tongue just to make sure everything came off. But once again, not mandatory. Some of you are probably still like toothbrush, tongue brushers. I am no longer that person. This is, replaces that process for sure. Another thing that I wanna really elaborate on, some little do's and don'ts of a tongue scrape is that you wanna make sure that this stays as dry as possible. This is real copper. So like we know, if you took any sort of elementary history in the US, copper will turn green after a while. So if your tongue scrape begins to look like the Statue of Liberty, it's time for you to retire it. The link that I'm gonna share with you guys down below is a package of 12, I believe, for eight bucks. So, I mean, you could spread it out to the family, give it away as gifts or keep them and just use them until they start to turn into that green sort of weird aftermath color. Um, but yeah, step number one of the do's, make sure you keep this as dry as possible or else it'll start to rust. The second do of your copper tongue scrape, of course, is that if it starts to turn green, make sure you get rid of it you don't need any more, find some way to repurpose it, or if you have to, you can't find a way to repurpose it. I wish I had something to tell you so that you can use it to repurpose, but use your creative mind to see if you can repurpose this into something you can use around the house. Otherwise, just toss it and move on to the next one. Third thing, use this as much as possible. If you have stinky breath, you need a tongue scrape. Point blank, period. It'll take away the funk in the mouth, no doubt.
Now let's slide on over into the don'ts. One of the main don'ts of this top copper tongue scrape is if you notice, if you're very rough in your bathroom area and maybe you bonk this on something and it breaks and it, you know, a little piece of the copper is like flailing off, do not use it. You will cut your tongue immensely. And I can only imagine the amount of suffering and pain you will go through after you cut the back of your tongue. So just save yourself the heartache and the actual physical pain and just don't use it. If it's bumped up, just either repurpose it or toss it and use the next one. Do not use the copper tongue scrape if it is broken. Second don't of the copper tongue scrape do not scrape too hard. There is definitely a wrong way to do this. As you saw, I did it very gently. I'll do it again. Little to no pressure is required to really do the trick here. Um, if you do begin to do it too hard, you will definitely notice your tongue will start to turn red, like the little blood will almost come up to the surface level of your tongue. If you do scrape too hard, you will actually begin to bleed. So take it easy. This does not require a lot of strength. It just requires a very light glide over the entire tongue. So treat yourself with care and act accordingly. Be gentle. It's not that serious. So now you know what this is, how to use it, the do's and don'ts of a copper tongue scrape, and now I'm gonna tell you where to get it. So now live up on my website, yogacanadian.com slash essentials, there are these beautiful copper tongue scrapes. And like I mentioned before, I put the pack on there. The pack is $8.99 for 12 tongue scrapes. So this is perfect around gift giving season or for a birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day. It, this is friendly for any age, any body. Everyone can benefit from having a copper tongue scrape. So these are perfect gifts, or if you just wanna keep inventory with your top copper tongue scrapes and just use them as they begin to rust, then that is completely up to your discretion. No judgment here. Um, but I have placed the link of these amazing copper tongue scrapes on my website, yogacanadian.com slash essential. So head there and pick up head over to the Yoga Candy website slash essentials and grab yourself some of these amazing contraptions yourself and the people around you will thank you. Thank you for joining me for a little life hack video. Until the next one, I am sending you so much peace, love, and harmony. Namaste.